April 28 is the day on which we recognize the human cost of work-related accidents and ill health. The International Labour Organization, or ILO, holds its World Day for Safety and Health at Work and the International Workers' Movement remember those who died at work. The human cost of poor occupational safety and health uh, standards is immense. A recent study found that the toll for the 27 European Union member states was 167,000 deaths attributed to work each year. Globally, the numbers of deaths attributed to work is 2.3 million each year, with cancers, circulatory diseases and, of course, accidents, the main causes of death. The theme of the World Day for the ILO this year is emerging risks and patterns of prevention in a changing world of work. In raising this subject, the ILO is considering the current global challenges and new contexts of occupational safety and health practice. This theme highlights an important aspect of occupational safety and health. It is a dynamic field, changing as new hazards and risks emerge, as relationships between employer and worker develop, as work patterns change, and as the workforce changes in response to broader demographic trends. When we talk about new and emerging hazards and risks, this could be the development of nanotechnologies or the emergence of the so-called green jobs. The old employment model of workers being employed by one enterprise in one place for a long time is now frequently replaced by short-term contracts and subcontracting. Shift work and irregular hours appear more common to deal with our increasingly 24-hour service-oriented economies. The aging of the workforce uh, as life expectancy increases and birth rates decline, the increasing number of women in the workplace and recognition of the importance of migrant workers are all impacts of demographic change that affect occupational safety and health practice. The European Agency for Safety and Health at Work, or EU OSHA, is at the forefront of providing current and accurate information on these and other issues. We provide free, instantly accessible information to policymakers, researchers, employers and workers through our website in 22 languages. EU OSHA is a tripartite organization and be believes that it is only through the active engagement and collaboration of governments, employers and workers that the effective prevention of workplace risks can be achieved. By preventing these risks, not only are lives saved, but enterprises and economies do not have to pay the huge financial costs of these losses. As the former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan said, safety and health at work is not only sound economic policy, it is a basic human right. The role of workers and, and their representatives in achieving a risk prevention culture cannot be underestimated. They are the ones who deal with the hazards and risks at first hand. And they are the ones who pay with their lives uh, or their health when the levels of prevention are inadequate. Worker participation in occupational safety and health is vital for successful prevention. This holds true not just in the workplace, but also at the national and international levels, where social partners are central 
to the successful planning, implementation and evaluation of occupational safety and health policies. As a recent agency report put it, worker involvement in any given project is a decisive factor. Participation is fundamental to effective risk prevention. And this is borne out by the first results of the European Survey of Enterprises on new and emerging risks, which indicate that risk assessment is more likely to happen where there is a health and safety representative. Globalization means that Europe cannot address these issues alone. This is why EU OSHA works with the ILO, the World Health Organization and other global players to protect workers during these changing times. The European Union has a leading role to play in achieving decent work, quality work, work for all. I ask you then on 28th of April to pause and remember the importance of a good safety and health at work. Have a good, safe and healthy day.